This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadirvadi Chanel. Dear friends, are you ready? Today, we are going to see Fluency in English, Part 32. You just note down the heading, Fluency in English, Part 32. Fluency in English, Part 32. Fluency means what, sir? You may ask me. Fluency is nothing but the quality of being able to speak English fluently without any hesitation. That means what? When you think, you ought to speak. When you think, you ought to speak. That is called fluency. I am here. I will train you in a systematic way to get fluency in English without any grammatical errors. Only thing is, you have to listen with the concentration. That is very, very important. That is the key to success in English. Understand? Now, we are going to see past continuous tense passive usage. The main heading is fluency in English, main heading. Understand? Below that, uh, we are going to see so many usages. Understand? So now, we are going to see past continuous tense passive usage. Passive usage is nothing but subject is not the doer. You are aware of it. I will raise as many questions as possible in past to continuous tense passive usage using the auxiliary verbs was or were plus being plus past participle of the main verb. One thing is I am going to answer on behalf of you. You just listen with the concentration. That is enough. Okay. Please close your note. Don't write anything. Understand? When will we use uh, past to continuous tense or a past to continuous tense passive usage? The past to continuous tense is used for an action going on at some time or some period in the past. The past to continuous tense may be for an active usage or passive usage. Don't bother. Okay. The past to continuous tense is used for an action going on at some time or some period in the past. Past to continuous tense is also often interrupted by past tense. All those things we are going to see. Understand? Shall we start? Okay. What I will do is, for only one sentence, I will take Tamil meaning how. Past to continuous tense, past to use it. After that, you can understand. Okay? Mr. Ganesh was finance being taught for MBA students. By your uncle, when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon, was finance being taught for MBA students by your uncle? When he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon, last Sunday afternoon, what uncle chest pain? Our all MBA students kahe finance teach panna patu kundi randada idam translation. Passive usage. Understand? Was finance being taught for MBA students by your uncle when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon? Yes, finance was being taught for MBA students by my uncle when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon. Yes, finance was being taught for MBA students by my uncle. When he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon. Last Sunday afternoon, our chest pain was the case. My uncle, MBA students, finance, teach panna pattu kondi irundadu. Yes, teach panna pattu kondi irundadu. Yes, finance was being taught for MBA students by my uncle when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon. How long? Was finance being taught for MBA students by your uncle when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon? How long was finance being taught for MBA students by your uncle when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon? Last Sunday afternoon, our chest pain was the first time. Our MBA students finance teach panna patu kondi How long? Was finance being taught for MBA students by your uncle when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon? It was being taught for MBA students by him for one and a half hours when he got a chest pain last Sunday afternoon. 
it was being taught for mba students by him for one and a half hours when he got a chest pain last sunday afternoon last sunday afternoon our chest pain vandha bodhu one and a half hours our all mba students ku pinat stitch panna pattu kondirundathu it was being taught for mba students by him for one and a half hours when he got a chest pain last sunday afternoon is it clear so this is the translation for uh, past to continuous tense past usage okay here after you can understand okay so here after i will not take uh, translation you will understand mr chandru was your two wheeler me repaired at mogano motors in velachuri this time last saturday was your two wheeler be repaired at mohana motors in velachuri this time last saturday yes it was being repaired at mohana motors in velachuri this time last saturday yes it was being repaired at mohana motors in velachuri this time last saturday mr ganesh was your uncle's car being serviced at tata service center in gindi this time last friday was your uncle's car being serviced at the tata service center in gindi this time last friday yes this car was being serviced at tata service center in gindi this time last friday yes this car was being serviced at tata service center in gindi this time last friday mr kumar where all his family members being taken to the adayar police station for an investigation in connection with the murder case yesterday morning where all his family members being taken to the adayar police station for an investigation in connection with the murder case yesterday morning yes all his family members were being taken to the adayar police station for an investigation in connection with the murder case yesterday morning yes all his family members were being taken to the adayar police station for an investigation in connection with the murder case yesterday morning mr prabhu where your clothes being washed by your maid between 10 and 11:30 yesterday morning where your clothes being washed by your maid between 10 and 11:30 yesterday morning yes my clothes were being washed by my maid between 10 and 11:30 yesterday morning yes my clothes were being washed by my maid between 10 and 11:30 yesterday morning mr chandru was he being investigated by the dsp at the gindi police station in connection with the murder case last saturday morning was he being investigated by the dsp at the gindi police station in connection with the murder case last saturday morning yes he was being investigated by the dsp at the gindi police station in connection with the murder case last saturday morning yes he was being investigated by the dsp at the gindi police station in connection with the murder case last saturday morning mr prasad where all the bureaus being moved from there last sunday afternoon where all the bureaus being moved from there last sunday afternoon yes all the bureaus were being moved from there last sunday afternoon yes all the bureaus were being moved from there last sunday afternoon mr prakash was the matter being informed to the manager by mr ravi when you entered his cabin at 10 o'clock this morning was the matter being informed to the manager by mr ravi when you entered his cabin at 10 o'clock this morning yes it was being informed to the manager by mr ravi when i entered his cabin at 10 o'clock this morning yes it was being informed to the manager by mr ravi when i entered his cabin at 10 o'clock this morning mr vinod was the message being conveyed to your parents 
by you when your friend Kumar came to your house at 6.30 last evening was the message be conveyed to your parents by you when your friend Kumar came to your house at 6.30 last evening? Yes, it was being conveyed to my parents by me when my friend Kumar came to my house at 6.30 last evening. Yes, it was being conveyed to my parents by me when my friend Kumar came to my house at 6.30 last evening. Mr. Chandru, what's the matter? Being discussed with the HOD, when you went to the HOD's office at 11 o'clock yesterday morning, what's the matter? Being discussed with the HOD, when you went to the HOD's office at 11 o'clock yesterday morning, I don't know, sir, whether the matter was being discussed with the HOD or not. When I went to the HOD's office at 11 o'clock yesterday morning, I don't know, sir, whether the matter was being discussed with the HOD or not. When I went to the HOD's office at 11 o'clock yesterday morning, Mr. Swami, was the matter being reported to the director by his secretary when the registrar entered the director's cabin at 3.30 yesterday afternoon? Was the matter being reported to the director by his secretary when the registrar entered the director's cabin at 3.30 yesterday afternoon? Yes, sir. The matter was being reported to the director by his secretary when the registrar entered the director's cabin at 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Yes, sir. The matter was being reported to the director by his secretary when the registrar entered the director's cabin at 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Mr. Chandru, was your project report being prepared when some of your friends came to her house at 4 o'clock last Sunday afternoon? Was a project report being prepared when some of her friends came to her house at 4 o'clock last Sunday afternoon? Yes, her project report was being prepared when some of her friends came to her house at 4 o'clock last Sunday afternoon. Yes, her project report was being prepared when some of her friends came to her house at 4 o'clock last Sunday. Sunday afternoon. Mr. Ganesh, was tuition being taken for plus two students by your aunt when your uncle left for Singapore last evening? Was tuition being taken for plus two students by your aunt when your uncle left for Singapore last evening? Yes, tuition was being taken for plus two students by my aunt when my uncle left for Singapore last evening. Yes, Tuition was being taken for plus two students by my aunt when my uncle left for Singapore last evening. Mr. Kanesh, how long was tuition being taken for plus two students by your aunt when your uncle left for Singapore last evening? How long was tuition being taken for plus two students by your aunt when your uncle left for Singapore last evening? It was being taken for plus two students by my aunt for two hours when my uncle left for Singapore last evening. It was being taken for plus two students by my aunt for two hours when my uncle left for Singapore last evening. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Did you listen with the concentration? Okay. Let me finish up to this level. Thank you very much for having attended this class continuously. If you like this course, if you are interested in attending this class, if it creates any positive vibration in your mind, please share with your friends and others. It will definitely, certainly and surely make my dreams realized. I will meet you this time tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. M. Kadri Thank you.